Roman, we call Hello. him Rick Roman, is back with us. And I know every time I introduce him, he probably looks uh, thinking his mother must be out and <laughs> calling his name. When you were young and in trouble, did you get Richard Roman to get in this house? I got Richard a few times, probably yeah. more than I'd like to admit. Yeah, if I ever got David Venable, I knew I was in trouble. If I got David Alexander Venable, I was toast. Yeah, I was done. Right, it was trouble. over. My life as I knew it was over. All right, so let's talk to you about a clearance price on one of the most popular items we have in the gadget category. Probably one of my favorite items oh, we have in the gadget category. That. And this is Denny's Stainless Steel Blade Meat Tenderizer. If you are going to be making any cut of meat, either a braise or on the grill, you're going to do it in the pan or the oven or whatever you're doing, you want to first tenderize it with this magic device. Not so magic, it's pretty simple when you get right down to That's it. Right. Just super, super useful. Now, clearance pricing of $16.47. This represents a 25% savings off the regular price. That's right. We also want to let you know that we've got great colors. I'll hit those very quickly, sure. and then Rick is going to show you how this is used and why it becomes so valuable to you. Now, I've got it in red. Here it is in black. I also have it, I believe we're calling this orange. This is blue. And finally, I have it in green. It does have the little protective cup that goes on the bottom here. There's also a locking mechanism on the front. Correct. Is that correct? Yep. And when you clean this, my favorite part, you put it in the top rack of the dishwasher. So you're not only cleaning it, but you're sanitizing it. That's right. So talk to us about how this works. So here's the thing I love about it, how simply you can actually create texture and flavor with your meat. I was showing you before we came on, right there, they were shooting. These are those stainless steel blades. There's 45 of them. They're razor sharp. Now I'm pulling the spring back here. I don't want you to do that at home. But but those are going to go into your meat. Here's a flank steak, okay? All those tough tendons and fibers that are in those less expensive cuts of meat, that's what makes the meat tough. But when you use a Denny tenderizer, David, I'm going into the meat, and every time those 45 blades that are razor sharp, they're breaking and shortening those tendons. So that makes the meat very, very tender. But here's the other great thing, okay? And you can see these blades go right into the meat. When I show you this meat here, you're going to see these little, what I like to call flavor channels, all these tiny little slits in the meat, they're going to absorb, there you go, they're going to absorb your dry rubs, your marinades, even if you're just using salt and pepper, soak it into the meat. As I like to say, when you use the Denny, That's it right. gives the marinade or the seasoning a road to travel. Correct. If you make that cut all the way through those tough tendons and fibers in the meat, and then you pour that delicious oh. soy marinade on top, then you've got that perfect way for all that marinade to go right down into the middle of the meat so that when you cook it, every bite, not just the outside, is flavored. That's right. So here's this thing. This is one of my favorite things because we all have busy lives, but we want to eat delicious, great textured food. Yes, we here's do. a flank steak, all right? We marinated this for about 30 minutes, okay? Now, most of the time when you have flank steak, you would marinate that mm. for 24 hours. Oh, easily. Before you would cook it. Tell me what that tastes like, texture and flavor. Okay, first of all, it's awesome. And it's fork tender. Fork tender. Melts on your tongue. And who says that about flank steak, right? It's just nope. a tough of shoe leather. That's right. This is amazing. And the best part is, the flavor goes all the way through the meat. All the way through. And listen, David, you spent, we spent, what did you see, about 30 seconds on that? If that. By the time your grill, your oven, your pan is heated, you're ready with tender, delicious meat. Okay, so how about something like chicken breast, all right? Okay, now chicken breast is something that you may think, well, I mean, it's already boneless, so what yep. does it need to be tenderized? Well, have you ever cooked chicken breast and had it kind of tighten up on you? That's because it, the, when it hits the heat, it reacts to that heat Correct. and becomes very tough and very chewy. That's right. So what you want to do is to break that down a little bit. And here's the thing. Take a look at these blades. This is a thick, juicy chicken breast, okay? I can go right into those blades, go right through the meat. What I love about it, all the way through, and you just said it, not only is can the meat get tough when you don't tenderize it, but chicken doesn't absorb marinades very well. It's a very dense protein. So when you do this, you've actually now created all those little flavor channels. So your dry rubs, your marinades, they'll all soak in quickly and effectively. Now you may think, now, well, <laughs> I've got one of these hammers at home. Yeah. I can scare off criminals with this, and yeah. I can also tenderize the meat with this. Well, right. you know what? If you're not careful, you can really damage That's the meat. That's right. You can actually pulverize it. Yeah. Because if you get in here and get too yep. aggressive with this, yep. you might as well go ahead and make chicken burgers out of this because you, now you've turned it into ground chicken. I mean, that's who, a mess. Who wants to eat that? I mean, that's great if you're making a, like maybe a chicken fried, you know, steak type or of thing. Maybe, <laughs> or maybe a chicken meatball at this point, because what we've done is we've pretty much pulverized it. Exactly. So you want to avoid that kind of tenderizing and really create those little tiny microscopic cuts. That's right. That allow the spice and all of the mar marinade to go where it needs to go. Now, yep. how many are gone, Sean? Did you say? Over 1,200 are oh, now wow. gone. 500 people on the phone lines. Our foodies are shopping in big numbers today. <laughs> it's Sunday in the kitchen with David. Let's bust it out. So here it is in the red. I've got it for you in the blue. 
Now, orange is a color that we have trouble keeping in stock. I know a lot of you love this beautiful orange color. And if you love the orange color, I got some orange <laughs> color coming up from the western states. <laughs> and it's sweet and the color of sunshine. Okay, I'm, I digress. All right, so we're more limited, you say, in the orange. Is that right? Yes. All right, here's the green. How my mind goes from point A to point K, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. All right, and then we've got it for you in the black. So all this comes together for you at a 25% savings. I will tell you, I get interviewed a lot by folks who do stories about kitchen products. Okay. And they say, David, what do you think a, is a must have in every kitchen? And I always mention this item. A day We've sold many versions of it, mm -hmm. but I think if you're going to do meat of any kind, this becomes your best friend in the kitchen. You know what, Dave? And here's what I love. I'm just taking a top round, okay? This is an inexpensive cut of meat, and what happens with inexpensive cuts of meat? They tend to be chewy and tough. They need a ton of love, a ton of marinating time, but you can see these blades. Look how they go right into the meat. This is a thick piece of meat. They break down those tough tendons, but then they create all those little channels. And with something this thick, David, all I would do is simply turn it over and go to the other side so you can get that other side of the meat. So even if you're using a pressure cooker, David, which does a lot of great work for you, I love reading the reviews how all that flavor just seems to be magnified and really just lifts it all up. Did you see what Rick also did? He went right through the fat cap there as well. That's right. Why do you want to do that? You want to break the fat down too because what happens when meat, the fat on meat cooks? Yeah. It melts. And if it melts and there's already a hole or a channel in the meat, That's right. where does all that flavor go? Right down into the meat. Right into if it. If you don't have that channel, where does the flavor go? Off the side and in the bottom of the pan. And you're going to leave all the flavor in the bottom of the pan when you serve it, right? Why would you do that? Michael, why would you do that? Doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> Justin, would you do that? Never. All right, Justin might. How about taking? How about yeah. David taking those marinades? You just mentioned it. Just talk about really taking the flavor up on another level. Take the marinade or the dry rub, pound it, and really marinate it right into the meat with those blades. Yeah, I call that blasting. You blasting. blast it right down into those thicker cuts of meat. And don't forget, use this on bone-in pieces too. I know we're out That's of time, right. but a turkey, Correct. a roast chicken, you can right, you know, just like this one. Yep. Obviously, it's not the, those blades won't go to the bone, but they'll go right through the, the breast meat, which is the driest part. That's and right. And here, where's all the fat in skin on chicken? In the skin. That's right. If you break it up and give it a road to travel when it melts, where's it go? Into the chicken Into breast. The chicken. More flavor. More flavor. How many gone now? 4,000. That would be 4,000. Red, blue, orange, green, and black. That's what we have available. How about an elbow shake? Elbow shake. Man? All right. Um, <laughs> stay on the line. Will we see you again soon? No, or, uh, next week. Next week. Next week. Next week. All right. Looking forward to it. Hey, if you're looking for simple but decadent 